Hello on Monday the 20th of December. I get the feeling that uh, many people are feeling a bit downbeat at the moment with all the uncertainty that's around. And that's why I think it is important that we do lift our focus towards God. And my opening prayer is that prayer of praise to God. Let's praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. And our readings today are from Isaiah chapter 7 verses 10 to 14 and Psalm 24 verses 1 to 6. It's one law for one and another for others. We've heard that phrase or similar ones to that quite a lot in the news recently. Now I've no intention of passing any form of political comment about this, but on the surface it does seem that there is some form of disparity. Yet throughout life we do find apparent contradictions and throughout the Bible we come across passages which seem to contradict other parts of scripture. And one of these is one of today's readings. A reading which really links into matters of faith and trust. Towards the end of his time here on earth, Jesus said to Thomas, the people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who will be really blessed. And during his ministry, Jesus was seemingly quite dismissive of people who asked him for a sign. We came across this in one of our readings only a few days ago. But we also know the story of Gideon, who tested God by using a sheepskin and asking God to confirm what he was to do by whether the fleece was wet or dry. Then today we find Ahaz frustrating God. No Lord, I won't test you, says Ahaz. And I'm pretty sure that he thought that this was really the right thing to do and say. <coughs> He'd think that testing God showed a lack of faith and trust. And no doubt he was very surprised by God's frustration. The difference is that God has said that he wants to give him proof. So Ahaz isn't doing what God wants by not asking for that proof. And what wonderful words of assurance are given by God as he goes ahead with his proof. Because they farm form part of the prof prophetic message about Jesus' birth, as well as giving Ahaz an assurance in his current situation. Our next prayer is our prayer for our leaders. And from that story of Ahaz, we know how difficult it is for leaders to do the right thing. So gracious Lord, we continue to pray for everyone in a position of leadership of any kind. As the weeks go by, the complexity of the situation and the decisions which need to be made become no easier. A matter of fact, Lord, over recent weeks, they appear to be becoming more and more difficult. And so we do ask that you continue to pour your wisdom down on all leaders and we pray that they do follow the guidance you give. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for today's prayer points, let's pray that with everything that's going on, we don't lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas. Let's pray that as people meet up, they do keep safe and well. 
and let's pray that we do think about others and not just ourselves. The Lord's Prayer. And please join me in praying. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Do please continue to take care as you go around your daily lives. And today's blessing. May God's light guide you, God's hand support you, and God's hand love surround you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love today and evermore. Amen.